in a recent short, I introduced a byte buffer just to answer a viewer's question whether it is possible to store extended attributes or to, to attach extended attributes on a file. So um, this code does that. So um, there is a file message.txt. And what happens here, I'm asking with files to get the uh, file attribute view. And uh, I'm asking for user defined file attribute view. So I get it here. And now, because it's low level API, uh, I'm using the, um, the uh, byte buffer um, with, I'm encoding a nice into a byte buffer and then storing with view.write sentiment. So it's like key value pairs, sentiment. It is the content of the byte buffer. And then I'm also reading with the byte buffer. And first I have to allocate the size, so this is the size of sentiment. And then I get the, um, the uh, destination. This is the size of the byte buffer. And with that, I can read the sentiment into the byte buffer. So now let's run the code and we will see that something happens. So there is a message.txt file. But uh, what I could do is I could use the uh, write bytes API uh, or method was introduced in Java 14 and, um, and pass the destination array, which returns the bytes. So now let's run the code once again. And we see that nice was returned. And um, what we can also do, we can ask for the attributes from the command line. And you will see that user sentiment is nice.